especially when you're playing with such a like a high pressure set like that. Yeah, yeah. Dang. But over here, we got. We got Abe Man. Yep, Abe Man. Rob. He's a resident from Florida, and then we got Meister. Oh, the, actually, the legendary. Actually, kind of a heated one. set. Yeah, like yeah. these are some top level players. Yeah, these are some players, man. Definitely, yeah. these guys have been making waves in different ways. So we'll see what happened here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, already off getting that damage. Game of Watch is just such a very solid character in the game. Uh, up B. Absolutely incredible. That huge hitbox allows for a combo opportunities afterwards, too. And wow, you toot your horn. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, he's, do he's doing such a good job just keeping him on that left side platform there, man, just like continuously doing the up airs and just waiting for to see how he's going to land and punish off of that. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, like, like you're saying, Game of Watch is up B so fast, really solid out of shield and yep. whatnot. So just like a, a good tool to get people off of you when they hit you on shield. Exactly. And so Rob, usually his Nair is fairly safe on shield. Mm -hmm. You can get some pressure. And usually, if, even if he drifts back, you can utilize down tilt to get uh, added some additional shield pressure. But you can't do that when you're going up against Game Watch. Game Watch will just shred through that with the up B. For sure, for sure. Going way low with that down air, but Game Watch can do that. Yeah. So you can try to bombs, bombs, more bombs. Oh, and this, I think that was a shield poke, too. Yeah. Very, very, very close to KOing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> State spike, not much you can do about that. Yeah. You gotta hold the turtle. Yeah. Yeah, so I actually feel in general this matchup is very difficult for Rob. A lot of the things that help Rob kind of mitigate the juggle issues that he has. Okay. They're, they're really, they don't get, they don't matter to Game Watch. Game Watch, you can utilize the up air as you saw right there. The Nair is such a big, huge hitbox, multi-hitting, and you just rinse and repeat on Rob. And then for Rob gets off stage or tries to land on you with Nair, up you out of shield. Yeah, and even like the projectile game that Rob has between like the lasers and the gyro. Game Watch does a really good job mitigating that with the uh, down B that he has. Yeah, absolutely. That bucket, like, you, you don't want to fill that up because you know it's going to be an easy kill. Yeah. Especially how Rob recovers. There's so many times when so many easy scenarios we can go ahead and actually just blow him up for it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. On the flip side, though, Rob can do a lot of, like, offstage KOs with the side B and whatnot and can go really far out there to kind of, like, contest Game & Watch. Yeah. But typically, Game & Watch is going to be, like, recovering pretty low, so going to be a little bit difficult. Yeah. On the flip side of the coin, though, Game Watch is still a ridiculously light character. Yeah. So once 8-Bit Man actually gets down and he finds an opportunity, he can make it work for himself, and he can definitely turn this one around. For sure. And slowly but surely, he is filling his down B. Got already two in the can. Yeah. The bucket, I should say. Dude. Oh, oh. my. <laughs> it just keeps going, man. Yeah. Man, the, the LB is doing such a good job just getting him off him. Yeah. Let's see if Baby Mech gets him here. No, he's gonna get hit by that dare. Finally thought he was about to get something started, but of course that dare's gonna land on top of his head. Almost gets a kill. Great DI though. Yeah. By Mister. Really Act good stuff. Actually really good DI. Yeah. And like you're saying, man, this the, the neutral layers that Game Watch is doing is it's it's really difficult for Rob to contend with. Yeah. It's just a it's a huge bubble around him, right? Right. <laughs> All the fish. Yeah, and it also just builds up a lot of percent and gets him above there where he can get the up air chains like he's been doing. Yeah, this is looking frustrating for Aven, man. He really hasn't been able to get anything started here. Yeah, and then when he gets like in the close range, the up B is going to come out. Exactly. Easy dash stack, pretty quick, very fast. Just staying right outside the range of the neutral air. All right. That'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> you hit him with the tombstone. <laughs> Looking like seismic toss. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, is he fair? Wow. Oh, dropping the bombs on him. Yo, that robot was not built for that, bro. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that looked rough. Yeah, that, that's not Terminator, that's yeah, Rob. Not at all, yeah. Oh, it's oh, just man. Robert, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Robert. Your friendly neighborhood <laughs> Robert, dude. <laughs> and I oh, live his man. best life. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, when you're recovering low like that, I think that forward air was a really good option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, he got the stage spike earlier, right? By exactly. when, when Rob was going underneath the stage, he yep. went all the way down there with the back air, the turtle. Yeah, because the thing about it is you can mitigate that bomb by throwing out an attack, and it'll just render the hitbox inert. However, that means you're stuck doing an attack, which means right. if I'm Game Watch, I got to run back and just smack you inside the stage again or do whatever I want to do. Right, 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 right. Dang. That looks a little bit difficult on the Rob end. Yeah. Yeah. Just from what we've seen so far. Yeah, yeah poor Rob, man. <laughs> yeah, he's going to run it back. 8-Bit Mac, 
Mm -hmm. Zaya, see, he's trying to focus. Yeah, he he wants us. He wants us. He knows he's experienced some highs uh, as of late. Well, staying late, but that was a uh, last major glitch that where he actually ended up doing really well. I believe he ended up going into the top eight. And I know it's something that he wants to recreate again. He's always been a very phenomenal player, for sure. But uh, Meister's been the one really on the rise. He's been doing very phenomenal stuff. People do not know what to do against this character game watch. And the character is kind of nice. No, it actually, it really is good. I, I think between like the uppies and downbees, like you can go so far off stage, you can like threaten a lot of things, you can like mitigate a lot of projectile play with the down B. Just a very solid character. Yep. Meister is a very strong player. Absolutely. Nice. Very good up air. I like that reversal. Yeah, keeping the ledge safe there as he's recovering. Okay, yep, again, up B. Oh, bombs away. Yeah. I didn't even see him throw that forward. Yeah. Very quick. I so ready with the down beat and reflect the gyro. The what? fact that that reflects is like one of the saddest things in the world. It yeah. literally is just like, your zoner, hold that. Yeah, either I'm going to absorb it or it's coming back at you. <laughs> it's a rough life. It seems like he's having a real difficulty just like contending with the up beat down airs that, that he keeps doing. Yeah. Because he's also changing it up, right? Like he yep. did back air there as well. He's True. doing like neutral airs. Dang. Yeah, he, yeah, he just gets juggled, man. Welcome to the circus. <laughs> you, you, really, <laughs> you really can't do anything here. Yeah. The main thing that Rob is going to have is, like I said, landing nares. But that's not really going to be effective against the disjoints that Game & Watch has. And even then, like, he can do things like he can do uh, B-reverses with the gyro. Right. And, you know, change the momentum. But still, Game & Watch, very fast character, very big hitboxes. So that's not going to be as strong as it will be against other characters. For sure. And he's also, like, keeping it relatively close quarters, so he can't even, like, get gyro and whatnot exactly. in a lot of situations. Okay, opportunity here. Oh, my gosh, so much close to killing. Right. Again, really good DI to go to the corner like that. Yep, there, fast hold up, B. Yeah, just keeps going, dude. It just, it just <laughs> feels like he constantly has a hitbox out. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Got a little charge again. Oh. Yeah, Meister right now is really just allowed to keep swinging. <laughs> oh my god, the offstage play, what is going on? Yeah, and a little bit of bomb, safe bomb. Three stocks to one. Oh, it's a rough one. It really is, man. Because you know 8-Bit Man's like a really solid player in his own right. Yeah, so, I know, he is. Yeah. Like I said, I just, this matchup in general is just extremely rough for Rob. Yeah, and Meister's playing it, like, phenomenally. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually no mercy. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that is that's definitely, he said hello, no, no mercy. Hello? <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello? <laughs> hey. Can I play? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Oh. Yeah, 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 I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> that's a mood. Yeah. That is a mood. 